Reval. By connecting two old Germanic words, Re, meaning a deer, with Val, meaning to fall, King Valdemar II gave Tallinn its original name, Reval, which means nothing less and nothing more than the Court of a Deer. Perhaps we would match. Sorry. Yeah. I can I can tell you with that. Exactly. Yeah. Would we have a big round of applause for Lady Milan? <laughs> Being on stage, not an easy job, but with a little convincing, voila, the world is yours. And since the world is yours, you now have a chance to pick a volunteer, a man out of the audience, to help us out with this story. Don't get it. You are safe. We'll take one, she doesn't know. <laughs> okay. And whoever you choose. Here, here. So, in order to find out where the name Reval comes from and what does it mean, we go again to the beginning of this town to 1219. Where none other than the brave king of Denmark, Valdemar the Second. <laughs> <laughs> Big round of applause for the lady. <laughs> Has just conquered the fort of the Estonians and now wants to reward his men with the biggest feast. You know, nom 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 nom. So my king, let me ask you, when you hunt those fast animals, do you hunt them on foot? Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course, this would be convenient. Thing. Exactly. So, if a horse is convenient, we all saw the king jump on his noblest horse. Too. So with the help of your hands, let's do it like this. The king starts riding around in his newly conquered land. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. He looks to the front. And he comes to his stop. There's a moving in the bushes. What can this be? Well, I have no idea. We don't know. We were not there. Only you were my king, so let me ask you a simple yes and no question. You were there, you saw it. Right. Was this the counterattack of the Estonians? <laughs> no. No. It was not. Was it an evil spirit, perhaps? Doesn't believe in ghosts. Luckily, it was none other than the hero of our story. A young, a beautiful, <laughs> A female deer. And Rainer, can you do deer ears for us? Very good. So when the king saw the deer, and the deer saw the king, they looked at each other as if two lovers in full moon. Until the deer realized it's looking into the eyes of a very hungry man. So the deer turns around and makes his escape. And the king on that small, small pony of his goes after. <laughs> and a wild chase begins. <laughs> Beautiful. Such a fast race you saw it in slow motion happen in front of your very eyes. <laughs> the deer, still with ears attached, is now cornered to the edge of a cliff, this cliff. And with nowhere else to go, the deer looks down the cliff and realizes, wow, what a lovely bunch of people, but also, wow, what a scary fall. So its legs were shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaking all over. But with a glimmer of hope in the deer's heart, it looks at the king for some mercy. But no, the king looks back with what only can be described with the hungriest face you have ever seen. <laughs> to which the deer looks down the cliff again and now realizes, oh, well, that is half as scary as this. And decides to take a leap of faith and jump. <laughs> Imagine the, the deer springing into the air, escaping the king, claiming its freedom. But the fall was from such a height, it fell to its own end. Oh. But that's not where the story ends, for it was the king who looks down the cliffs with amazement on his face. 
slightly surprised, but that'll do. Even the wildlife in these lands would resist such a mighty man. Luckily, the king. So the king looks down. What a what a deer! What courage! And following this very same event, the king decides to call these newly conquered lower lands Reval. By connecting two old Germanic words, Re, meaning a deer, with Val, meaning to fall, King Valdemar II gave Tallinn its original name, Reval, which means nothing less and nothing more than the fall of a deer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Well, imagine this. You're a security guard. You're looking at the night camera in the old town, and you see a man running around with a metal deer. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> this is what has happened with this deer. Hopefully this one, three times the lucky charm, you will stay. <laughs>